Hello there. Welcome to his garage. I am sitting on my daughter's Honda NSC50 um, Vision. Uh, this bike is not the same bike that you've seen in some service video maybe. Uh, this bike I bought at a better price because it was a bit worn and it was a bit, uh, well it didn't look all that good. Um, something had scratched or hit this lamp cover or headlight cover or whatever you call it. So there were some heavy scratches up here and you could see white plastic from the substrate shining through and well yeah, it made it easier to negotiate the price and then I thought well okay what shall I do <clears throat> can I uh, well, maybe I should respray the whole bike bit by bit it's small plastic parts here and there it's not that difficult to, to respray it's not like respraying a car so um, but as it was standing there in the garage then and um, looking a bit sad I thought I should take a look and see what I have on the shelf in terms of paint that might look a bit like this and I happened to find this thing a little can of touch-up paint for a saw the color is called Oduardo Grey color code 158 Oduardo why does the paint why is the paint called that well um, it's a bit funny it's a bit of a story that also because Saab had an importer or dealer maybe in Italy and he was in contact quite frequently with the plant up in uh, Traletta and he said I must have a uh, Saab in dark grey metallic I can sell more cars if you make the cars in the right color and after having uh, <laughs> complained for some time then uh, the guys up there thought that well maybe we should give it a try so they developed this uh, this color and named it after Eduardo, Eduardo, uh, an Italian guy and it's a bit funny because this bike is built in Italy in I think it's called a Tessa somewhere eastern a bit south in, in Italy I think all Honda scooters in Europe are built there so anyhow but Honda doesn't call it Eduardo but it doesn't matter so after I had uh, filled in those white areas with this paint I let it dry and then I came back and had a look and I thought hmm this seems to be really close and then I thought hmm, I should search for a proper spray can of that color so I can uh, give it a try um, and I went to the nearest paint shop uh, for some you know aftermarket paint and I found this thing Moltona 0811-2 which is a dark spray color and I just for fun sprayed on a bit and ooh, it looked even better than the than the old soap can <clears throat> and I thought this looks really really close I should give it a try to do something well not professional but as good as I can at least so you know I bought plastic primer I bought filler spray can or filler and to give it the final touch or appearance I also bought uh, matte or dull clear coat and of course I bought uh, wet grinding papers I call them they are English abrasive sheets and now grit 280 400 1000 so I started to um, to sand and put on the primer and put on the filler and sand it and put it on put on some more filler and you know paint job and then as I got everything uh, looking nice and proper and no scratches visible anymore and you know sanded everything down a bit and then uh, so I gave it a try I sprayed on the dark grey color and uh, let it dry a bit and then I put on the uh, dull clear coat and it looked crap absolutely awful so I talked to the guy selling the paint and said why is the clear coat behaving like this and he said, ah, well, you should put it on either wet in wet or let the base color, the gray color in this case, really dry out. So I sanded everything down again with this 1000 grit paper and, and made sure that all the surfaces were good. And then I sprayed on the dark gray color again and then I put the clear coat wet in wet here and then it looked amazing.
really, really good. I mean, uh, painting isn't all that easy. You might get orange peel or you might get too much paint, so you start to get the drops or runners or whatever you call it. But it looks, looks really good. I'm amazed. And, well, try to judge the uh, color difference. Can you see any difference? I'd say it's as close as it can get. Really good. So, if you happen to have a dark, uh, dark gray matte Honda, then you know that if you have some scratches, there is a fix to it or a cure to it. Um, so, good luck. Take care. Bye-bye. That's all for my scares today.